University of Illinois Extension, I'm Todd Gleason. It has been determined that the western corn rootworm collected last year in those fields in northwestern Illinois are in fact resistant to yield guard BT technology. I asked Mike Gray about it during agronomy day. The unfortunate news is that we uh, see results that parallel those out of Iowa State that were published last year confirming uh, the evolution of uh, field resistance in those populations. Because of this confirmation and the reaction that has already taken place in the state of Iowa by farmers, Gray expects soil insecticide usage in the state of Illinois to go way up next year. Well, in fact, we're seeing just that. The soil insecticide usage this year has gone up quite significantly. We anticipate that that trend will continue into 2013. And this is very unfortunate uh, because many will recall that when these BT hybrids entered the marketplace, the number one advantage that they offered was uh, reductions or elimination of soil insecticide. Yet now uh, we find that many producers are going back uh, to heavy use of soil insecticides on top of traded corn. So uh, again, where uh, producers uh, are considering uh, using uh, single traded corn that expresses 3BB1, uh, certainly be alert to the fact that we've had you know, confirmation of uh, this resistance uh, in, in northwestern uh, Illinois. Uh, consider the use of a, a pyramid uh, that doesn't get us completely out of the woods. And when I say a pyramid, a hybrid that expresses several proteins, uh, the producers need to be made aware that the one effective protein, uh, the 3435AB1 protein in these pyramids, will be under intense selection pressure as well because we've dropped the refuge requirement from 20% to 5% for those pyramids. This is a big concern. And this year, uh, there have been some reports out of Minnesota of performance challenges across the full spectrum of BT hybrids, uh, including Herculex, including some of the Yogard hybrids, AgriSure hybrids, and very recently, uh, the extension entomologist in that state has been reporting on some smart stacks uh, fields that uh, were less than satisfactory performance uh, has shown up as well. That's University of Illinois Extension entomologist Mike Gray confirming that the BT technology first used to control the western corn rootworm that called yield guard and produced by Monsanto is now no longer considered effective, at least in the northwestern part of the state of Illinois. For University of Illinois Extension, I'm Todd Gleason.